Here is a pile of guitar cases that I might need to figure out what to do with because in here is a guitar rack and over here are the guitars. Here's the new one. It's actually later than the reindeer blue one. But most of these guitars need to be looked at. So there's a lot to go on right now. So the rack is up. The acoustic didn't really fit, but I'll figure it out. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these cases. Obviously, I gotta keep this one. A couple of these are going to go, or a few of these are going to go to the luthier. So when that happens, you know, I'll use the cases for that. But it's good to get things moving in the right direction. Getting this place straightened up. There's still like a bunch of wires and papers and ideas. It's a mess. The forever Christmas tree. So the new guitar is actually lighter, as I said in the video, or the part of the video, when I was kind of showing off all the guitars. Um, as far as, you know, the way it came, I actually got this from Guitar Center. Um, the other one I, I bought from Sweetwater, and I've, I've bought more recently from Sweetwater than uh, Guitar Center. And I have to say, you know, I was kind of disappointed in the way that the guitar arrived. The, you know, for the Floyd Rose with the floating bridge, 
you know, they had it. So this was sunken down. So I had to kind of tune it up, which which isn't the worst, worst, but, you know, obviously it it sounds and it's in tune now. But, you know, when I took the uh, Reindeer Blue ESP out of the box, it was, you know, ready to play and um, already in tune, which I was surprised about. You know, I might have tuned up a little bit, but, you know, it was mostly in tune for, you know, coming in shipping-wise, and even um, I bought my niece guitar, you know, that also came pretty much in tune as well, um, but, you know, for, for the most part, you know, um, it's not too much to complain about, but I think in the future, I'm going to mostly use Guitar Center, I mean, I'll use Sweetwater over Guitar Center, but, um, I do like this guitar a lot. It's it's obviously very similar to uh, the other one. It's just the color is a little bit different. So the idea is to you know change the tunings of the guitars. This will probably stay in E. Uh, the strings need to be changed on the other guitar. So I'll probably tune that one to C. I gotta figure out what to do with the Jackson. I'm not 100 percent sure what I want to do there yet. Um, definitely keeping the warrior, uh, with the, uh, you know, half a step down, drop D setting, uh, that I have going on. So I guess it's really like a dropped, um, D flat or, um, C sharp, however you want to look at it. And then I'm thinking with the Les Paul, that'll just be kind of versatile for rhythms. I feel like that would be um, pretty good to, to keep at like maybe 11s or 10s and kind of go from E to C going back where it's a little bit easier since it's not a floating bridge uh, to kind of, you know, make it more of a versatile guitar. Plus, obviously, I want to add to the collection than just uh, what I got now. This is just a start to maybe get another rack since the acoustic doesn't fit on that. So uh, let me just... Mess around with this a little bit more. that's the end of the video right there uh, feel free to join the uh, discord like comment subscribe however you want to communicate always good for some feedback uh, as far as any other links that i'll always put down there feel free to check them out at your leisure but as usual we'll do we'll do with that always